I just enabled my PFSense router to send logs to Curator. This is a separate video that shows a simple process to do that. And I'm getting them here, but they are not being parsed. And that's what this video is all about, how you create a parser, manually create a parser for uh, getting Curator to understand that. But first, why would I want to do that? Well, if I get the, the firewall denies in particular, that's part of the firewall logs, I will know what is it that my new PFSense router is protecting me against. Uh, who is trying to get into my network that my router just prevents them from it? That might be useful information. Uh, also, if I get the DHCP logs, I can get the asset database populated with, you know, uh, what's the IP address of my cameras and my phones, and tablets, etc. And the, from the DNS logs, I can get to know where is everybody going in my house. So that might be useful information. Let's focus on those three first. So we're going to go into the admin tab, of my Curator CE, and notice that we don't have any log source either auto-discover or manually added. So that's why Curator doesn't know how to make sense out of those particular uh, logs. Now, if you're going to be using the DSM editor, it might not be a bad idea to give 8 or 10 gigabyte of RAM if you can to, to uh, Curator so you don't get a system uh, way too slow. We did this by actually building on the shoulders of what Carlos G did. Uh, this is something that actually John, uh, Jonathan Tomasulo sent this uh, to Polo and myself and said, hey guys, uh, I noticed that you did something on, on Curator and PSNs with flows. This guy built a DSN for logs as well. That's good. So, and he focused on firewall denies, DHCP, and DNS, which is precisely what we want. He also created this XML file that I downloaded already that has all the regex for the mappings. Very good. So I encourage you to print this because you're going to be using at least these tables for the firewall mappings, the DNS mappings, and the DHCP mappings. So let's uh, actually get started. The first step, uh, and well, before I start, I want to mention that uh, after I do this, I plan to use the CMT tool to export this as a zip file. So if you just want the parser, you don't want to learn DSM editor, you can just go here in extension management and add it in a very uh, simple way. So the first step that we need to do is that we need to create a log source type entry by the name pfSense because there isn't one. So we clear uh, create new. Uh, we already did that there. We click save. So make sure that you click on the save button so you have that entry there. Now we can uh, exit here. And we're going to get back to that uh, DSM editor shortly. But what we need that entry for is to add, associate that with the log source extension, that XML file that Carlos G created. So if we scroll down here, we should have that PFSense that we just create the entry for. We move it to the right. We're going to choose the file that where I put that XML file. Let me actually do that. So I selected uh, that file put that name and description. I upload the file. That should bring all those regex. Beautiful. We don't have to do them. We click here save and we are done. Let's go back to the DSM editor because we need to do the mappings. So if we go back here and look for the PFSense one, we're going to use the first table to add the mapping. Notice that we only have the unknown and stored uh, event mapping, so we need to do those. So from the table we see that the first event ID is pass for the firewall permit. The category is filter log. And we choose an event and we put the QID name entry in here. And this has to be very, I mean, you don't have to put it all, but you need to put, if you make any mistake, uh, I just did, if you put any mistake in there, 
then you will not find the the actual entry is firewall permit put a dash on you, you should not do copy paste from the guy because particularly that hyphen gets with a different equivalent so if we just type like that and click search we should find it and here it is and we click uh, OK and we click create I'm going to post the video and do the second one for the firewall so let's move on and do the DNS one so the first one is the A record the category is unbound we choose the event is DNS query dash a record so let's see if it finds it just like that and here it is we click OK we click create I'm going to post the video and do all the other ones in that table so we did all the DNS ones let's do the DHCP ones so from the third table the event ID is DHCP acknowledge ac the category is DHCPD we choose the event DHCPACK click search and it is this one we click OK we create it and we want to make sure that in here this thing is selected automatically it did if not you you do it yourself that's the identity information that we're going to use to populate the asset database so i'm going to post the video and do the other three so we are done we're going to click save here and i actually validated on every one of the dhcp one that by default it, it uh, took the identity information I'm gonna post a video this save is gonna take a couple of minutes be patient until it finishes well that took much longer than I expected it to be notice that I'm getting the messages but they are still non not uh, parsed right you see unknown and notice the destination IP is the one 192.168.2.1 that's the source actually the source and destination so now don't panic there's a fix for this if it's the auto discovery and and it may have picked it up but it's actually best that he didn't do it so you know how to go in the worst case scenario so what you need to do is add that log source manually now that we have it defined so we you we you go here into log sources you click add the type is pfSense here we have it we put a name of pfSense description pfSense the log source identifier is that one that we saw that's the IP address of the of the box you give the credibility that you want I'm taking the default I'm not gonna be doing coalescing and uh, you click here save you're gonna have to deploy the changes right as you do with when you add any new uh, log source so this thing is gonna pretty soon say you need to deploy changes and you see it here you see the details is that new log source pfSense you deploy the changes I'm gonna post the video until that finishes so now that that is done uh, you see that the events are actually nicely parsed. I got the firewall permit, and I, uh, you can actually, if you, if this is too noisy for you, you can uh, eliminate the the firewall permit and just the, the deny. There is a simple setting on the PSN uh, to do that, and I'm covering my IP addresses here at, at home. So, so you can go into the asset database and see, you know, your devices as they join the network and identity information is passed along you, you you get the to know which IP address each of your IOT devices have um, you can filter here and get only the PFSense device you can see only the firewall deny the firewall permit I mean you can you know 
get to know your network very nicely in here. I'm going to uh, stop the video, it's actually getting way too long.